the districts that we have here today already have teachers trained and we've come in and facilitated learning walks in your school buildings. Some of you may have heard about that from other staff members. We just want you to know, even though you may leave here today with just a brief skim over what a learning walk is, it's a visit to a teacher's classroom in teams. In some districts, they do partners. We like to see teams of four to five. You observe your fellow teachers in the classroom. You use the learning walk tool to record what you've seen. It's not a checklist by any means, but it's just a way for you to record what you've seen. This goes back to the teacher that you observed at the end of the learning walk. So you go into the teacher's classroom for about 15 minutes, okay? You observe, you recognize the affirmations, you know, the effective practices that you saw that came from the trainings, okay? So you have a little dialogue about these are the things that we saw from training. These are affirmations of effective practice in the debrief. And then they move to what we call a polisher. So it's an offering by those that observe to the teacher. And it's very constructive. It's not evaluative. It's, um, I saw that you tried the give one, get one strategy. Um, as in our group, we saw folks kind of wandering around without a partner. Okay, so if you observe that in the classroom, your polisher that's offered to the teacher might be, I see you tried the give one, get one strategy. Think about next time having them do a hands up high five to ensure that everybody's got somebody to partner with. It's as simple as that. So really it's teachers talking to teachers about teaching, not evaluative. You'll see on the back there's a space for um, notes to be written by the observer and at the bottom also a place for notes and then we encourage reflection from that. So we have video tapes. Oh, thank you for the, thank you. I didn't have one up here on my table so I almost skipped over that. Also on your table you have what we call a protocol card, it's white. And so those are the steps for the learning walk process. And on the back of it, there are actual sentence stems for providing feedback. So we'll use this, you know, your first training, we'll use this the first couple of times that you go on learning walks. And I still have teachers in some of the districts that I work in. They still bring it along because they love having that prompt to give that feedback to teachers. Okay, and it helps us stay true to the protocol because if not, you know, we're educators, we like to talk, right? And that debrief might turn into a whole long dialogue or conversation when we need to keep it succinct because the teacher that we just observed, they re might remember one or two things that we've said about the lesson, but they have this to then take with them to reflect on once you leave, okay? Um, Dr. Feldman, my two favorite quotes of his, Feedback to feed forward. So it's all about growth and pushing in each other to grow professionally. Because we know if we get stagnant, we become ineffective. So we always want to be pushing ourselves and supporting one another to do that. And then um, the second quote that I really love of his, feedback is the breakfast of champions. We can't expect anybody to get better at their craft or what it is that they do without feedback. Think about sports. Got any coaches in here? or former coaches in here. <laughs> okay, did you ever have your um, students watch game film? It's feedback, isn't it? Okay, so that's something we try to do too. You've got the verbal feedback of the coach. In this learning walk situation, we don't necessarily have a coach, but we're all helping one another get better. And we're, we video record the learning walks too, so that you have something to compare the sheets that you got back for feedback to your video. It's all about that ongoing reflective practice. And if you're doing um, a lot of reading these days in education, they talk all the time now about the value and power of reflective practice. 